it's 6.45, packing my passport. If that's any sign of where I'm headed, it's gonna be a long day of travel. I'm here at the San Diego airport. First flight we're going on today is a positioning flight. So if you're not familiar with what a positioning flight is, a positioning flight is when it helps me reposition to another airport so I can take advantage of a award availability or a points deal. And so this is the first flight. It's gonna be a long travel day. For this flight, I knew I needed to get off the plane as soon as I can, so I grabbed the first aisle seat that I found. The flight was very uneventful. Southwest has the best snack mix. You can let me know what you think in the comments down below. So just landed here at the Phoenix Airport, landed at Terminal C, C7 to be exact, and now I'm walking over to the B gate to go grab some breakfast at the Centurion Lounge. The Centurion Lounge was about a five minute walk and it's across from gate B22. To get into the American Express Centurion Lounge, I'm using the American Express Platinum, but you can also get in with the American Express Platinum Business as well as the Delta Reserve Card. As a quick visit over to the Centurion Lounge and they're really just doing the bare minimums to get through breakfast today, it seems like. The quality has definitely gone down and it's, uh, it's actually pretty disappointing. My gate's over at sea, so I'm walking back over to the sea gates. Let's board the next flight from Phoenix here to Atlanta. managed to score seat 15C, which has a missing seat next to me because it's an exit row seat. We're flying a 737-8, and it was a pretty uneventful flight until we hit some turbulence over Alabama, and the flight attendant said this. When you're on your own, make sure you able to stay in that seat, whichever way we cheer. <laughs> and he was right. Turbulence was pretty bad, but the pilots did an awesome job, and we got to where we wanted to go, Atlanta. Just landed here in Atlanta, and the thing with positioning flights is that you want to leave plenty of time between your positioning flight and the flight that you're going to get on later on. And I left five and a half hours and our flight arrived early. So I have like six hours here in Atlanta to kill. And the sad thing is that there's not very many lounge options. So I checked my American Express app and it said I can get into the club ATL as well as both minute suites in Concourse B. So let's head over to Concourse B. my American Express Platinum card or do you need a priority pass card? Um, I don't have anything available right now. Oh, you don't have anything available? Well, that didn't work out very well. Uh, that one is full and has nothing available, so I'm walking to the next location, which is on the other side of the terminal. She's not able to see the availability on the other side of the terminal, so let's go check out what the availability is on the other side of the terminal. Do you have anything available? Thank you. Thank you. That didn't work out too well. Both of those places had long waits. It's not available until 7.45, and so that's way too late. Uh, what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna head over to the United Club at Terminal T and wait for uh, my friend over there. So 
the reason why I have United Club access is that I'm flying an international business class ticket with a Star Alliance partner next. And so United is part of the Star Alliance, which is how I'm getting access to this United Club. Don't get too excited though, it's a very standard United Club. The food was basic, and there's this minestrone soup, there's a missing dish, and then there's this pasta that has mushrooms that did not look very good. But the lounge did have some really awesome views of some planes, as well as planes taking off. I then left the United Club and went over to the club at ATL, which is also a priority pass lounge, but I got in using my boarding pass because I'm flying business class with one of these four airlines next. The lounge is very basic, and I told you the lounges in Atlanta suck. I opted for the hummus and pita bread, and so did my friend who I'll introduce on the next shot. So that was the club, and this is Auburn. So we're headed to Istanbul, and then from there, headed to another place. Um, but first, let's head over to our flight. We're flying Turkish Airlines from Atlanta here to Istanbul. Stay tuned for the next vlog on how we booked this business class seat for 45,000 points. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button down below.